guys, it's Dee Dee here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I haven't seen Ariel in a week. It's Black Friday. We literally didn't do anything for Thanksgiving. You really are adorable. He distracts me more than boys distract me. <laughs> and no. No. And his sister distracts him. Wow. That's bad. I literally can't go more than three days without saying without like starting to go completely mental. It's bad. We're very independent on our own, but when it comes to each other, we're very codependent. <laughs> but yeah, I get to see her tomorrow. It will happen nine days. That's six days over me going mental. I'm spiraling and it's bad and I'm not sleeping or eating or drinking water really. I'm just not living. I wanted to come on here today to talk about how, what I've been doing, which is absolutely nothing. My latest video is just, you know, another school vlog. Link below, maybe. Yeah. I wasn't even planning on filming that day, so I just, and then at this point, it's like, okay, I don't have to be there for an hour, and I'm walking down the hall to go to this, to go into one of our vaults, one of, we sound so fancy, we're not, we don't even have the lockers, but yeah, we have two vaults, no lockers, but two vaults, we are getting sound equipment, but I passed by my history teacher's office, as you guys know, this is my history teacher, <laughs> and I saw Craig in there, Craig's favorite thing to do is appear behind me and just scare me and I have PTSD and I'm really jumpy and I have really bad nerves and I'll literally karate chop someone in the throat. I've done it to Ariel before. She scared me and I was like, ah. <laughs> Like I trust her and I know she's there but it just scares me still. So I'll just like jump when I notice he's there. Sometimes it will literally be 10 minutes because I'm so immersed in my homework, which is rare. But sometimes it'll literally be two seconds. Sometimes it'll be 10 minutes. It just really depends on how out of zone I am. And then suddenly I just, like there's this ting on the back of my neck or something. And I just know he's there and I know it's him. But like it doesn't click in my brain until I turn around and see him and literally jump. Like I know he's there in my brain, but I turn around and I'm like, oh, past like three weeks I think, I've started being able, being able to like sense when he walked towards me or when he's like super close to me. At first it started, I could sense when he had stopped behind me and then it would be when he was like a foot or so away and then I started being able to sense when he was walking towards me from the other end of the room. Like I don't sense when he is walking to somewhere else and then he stops behind me. I sense when he stops but I don't sense like he's walking towards someone else. If that makes sense. I'll be like oh I can sense you and he's like you're not gonna be able to sense me every single time and I'm like we want to put that to the test so now we're in a full out war about it and so I was walking down the hallway and he was always like well if you see me first it doesn't count and I'm like well duh it's called sensing not seeing me and I'm like oh he's there we're walking down the hallway and uh bro I see him in his office and I'm like, okay, yeah, let's not deal with this today. Like, I literally said it out loud and gone, that's like, what? And I'm like, nothing? And you were like, you saw Greg, didn't you? And I'm like, yes. And I'm walking back and I'm not even like, face that he's still there. I don't even care. And as I pass that door and then go in through another door, it's kind of confusing because it's like a hallway, sort of. I'm going through this door and I'm past a cabinet around the corner and I just hear, good morning, Dee Dee. In Craig's haunting PTS, PTSD-esque voice. 
something made me want to die and I just go, morning Craig. I didn't say good morning because I'm like, it's not a good morning because I just have to talk to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, no. If you know me, I, I talk a lot. It's not great, especially in science because Craig's always getting on me like, no, you need to do your homework. Stop talking. You're distracting other people. What is this? Probably just because he angers me. Um, and so... Apparently I've been talking while I was trying to explain something that I didn't know Craig was already explaining about the test to Ariel. Love of my life. Oh, the city's gonna break my heart. The city's gonna love me, then leave me alone. The city's got me chasing stuff. Chasing stuff. Oh, got me chasing stuff. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. They had me come sit next to him. Thankfully, it was Thursday, so it was only a one hour class, and I was like, mm. I walk out to go get a drink of water because this guy is going to make me lose my mind. And I come back and I just sit down, and he turns to me and he goes, Welcome back to class, Dee Dee. That's also another thing. As I was walking in, I was taking a Snapchat video because I'm trying to say something that is about them. This lovely person who I miss very much and haven't seen in like six months. That's half of a year, guys, and like I'm freaking out. It's bad. It's really bad. My mental state is not doing good. In the Snapchat video, and as we enter the science i look at craig and i'm just like oh my goodness like i don't say anything i don't show anything on my face but in my head i'm like oh my goodness i'm just seeing his face triggers me he says hi dee and i'm like hi craig kill me all the clip Kill myself. Hi, Craig. And then, as y'all saw, I got into an argument about my class, which somehow he knew what class I was in. And then he tried to mock me, which was rude and didn't even sound like me. Or Ariel. He was also mocking Ariel, so. Um, and then. Uh, Stephanie did make some food because I have like nothing to eat and she's like, you always like what I make. <laughs> I'm like, you're not wrong, I love your food. At least it's not hardboard chicken like my mom's. <laughs> Came to up with Craig or that one time she almost outed me to Craig about how um, I may or may not have happened to his account, but we're not going to talk about that. Comment down below whether or not I should do a story time about the time I hacked into my science teacher's account. He knows someone hacked, he just doesn't know it was me. I don't know why, I'm like the most obvious choice, but anyway. I think I have ADHD, probably. I don't know. And I was trying to say something to him, but my mouth was full. And I wasn't just gonna like let him to continue to bully me without me saying something. And my mouth was full. So I talked. And he goes, you need to learn etiquette. And I'm like, I know etiquette. And he goes, obviously not. You're talking with your mouth full. And I'm like, and he goes, all right, who's gonna teach this etiquette class? And I go, well, you can, just because if my mom was to sign me up for that class, that he created the idea, I would want him to suffer from it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I could. Just a minute. Because it's 10 o'clock. Yeah, that could happen, but then you would be in it and the class would have no help. Just the past few weeks since I got back from Colorado, 
I have just been like I just need to get through this one bad week but it's been every single week and I just haven't really been enjoying anything at all and I haven't really been doing anything besides school, homework, church. I haven't even been going to youth group because there's a bunch of stuff going on with my family right now and it's just not great. I just am not in the mindset any day to really go anywhere, much less youth group. Which I used to be like, oh, I'm not doing great. I need to go to youth group to help me. But like, I'm not even in that mindset now. I've literally gone to like one place besides my own house within the last few weeks. And that's literally game night two weeks ago. And now there's game night tomorrow and I'm saying my theory has <laughs> been really hard. I'm dealing with a lot of stuff right now and I really don't want to deal with emotions. And I have not been able to sleep and the last few nights every time I've eaten dinner or breakfast I've gotten really sick and like thrown up and I've barely been drinking water which I know is bad and I'm like my mindset just isn't great and um my sleep schedule is getting worse and worse and nightmares and PTSD and all of it and like I said my mental state it was already bad enough with everything going on with my parents not going to use group only focusing on school uh, just burying myself in school I hold myself up in my room until I'm done with all my homework and by that time it's like 11 o'clock at night and then I can't even sleep and it's just not great and so I really can't wait to see Ariel because you know it's something I need. Thank you for listening to this. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I'm gonna link below my latest videos and uh like like uh comment if you want that story time about me getting into my science teacher's account and um subscribe if you're new here see you guys next time